Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin and today we're going to be doing a general reading. What you need to hear from spirit, what advice you need to hear right now that will help you along your journey. We'll get some tarot, we'll get some oracle advice and at the end we'll do a yes or no question Sagittarius. So if you have a yes or no question, send the energy my way and we will get to the bottom of it and an answer for you. So let's get to it. Before we do, actually, I just want to say it is a general, so it may or may not resonate, but if you're guided here, I sure hope there's a message that helps you along your journey. No one likes to waste their time, right, Sagis? So to start, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Five of Swords. Can we get one more for Sagittarius, please? Taking those, but we're taking. Oh, there's two more. Okay, the magician and wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. All right, let's get to it. So currently, Sagittarius, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon. So you are very abundant in life. You're fairly successful. You have all the elements, all the tools. You're very nurturing and caring. But something's got you in your emotions. You have some fears here. So you're worried about something. Something's taking a big toll on you. Some of my cards, the Moon. She's under a lot of water. So there's a lot of emotions going on with you right, Sag, right now, Sag, and you're trying to decide which path to take and which direction to move forward in that will keep you in your independence and your abundance mode. But right now you have some fears. So you definitely have some fears and you're going through some emotions at the moment. So the advice from the cards is the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Magician, and the Nine of Cups. So what I'm seeing here is whatever it is that you have been working on, what, whoever it was that deceived you, squash it. Turn your back on it. Don't let it distract you, Sagittarius, because it's just a distraction. Whatever you've been working on, you will have success. It, you will get the attention, the attention that you deserve, that you seek, the success that you want out of whatever it is that you're working on. Because you are the magician and you're manifesting your, your wish fulfillment. So you have two cards of abundance and wish fulfillments and happiness and nurturing and caring. And you have all the tools to manifest it. So don't, I think I did a reading before that it was just a distraction. So it's, yeah. So whoever I'm connecting to, I got kind of a similar message for you. Like it's just a distraction that yes, there was some deceit, something that you were working on probably had to do with your finances and your money. But you will come out on top because you're taking the high road. See how he's, he's taking the high road. He's on the horse. He's not, I'm not getting involved in your pettiness. You're squashing that shit and you're manifesting your wish fulfillment because ultimately the only person that can stop you from getting what you want is you. And you're not going to let that deceit stop you. You're going to squash it and you're going to move forward to create your happiness, Saji. Well, that's what the cards are telling you to do. So I guess that's what I hope we do because I'm a Saji too. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the soul's journey lesson cards have to say to you. What is Sagittarius' message? What do you want to say to Sagittarius today, please? Help them get out of these emotions and get moving forward in a more balanced manner. What message would be on it then, please? Show me the card. There it is. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Yep. Okay, I like that message for us. So what does Sagittarius have to surrender to to get out of their emotions and move forward? Let's find out. What do you have to surrender to, Sagittarius, to have this victory and move forward? What does Sagittarius have to surrender to? Show us the card and the message, please. What does Sagittarius have to surrender to? Cut it to this video. Let's cut it. Okay, once more. There it is. Surrender your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Oh, sorry. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So instead of asking, why is this happening to me? Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Okay. So energy oracle time. These are my favorite cards. So what's I'm not taking those guys? I didn't get to shuffle. What's the message for Sagittarius, please? Show us the message for Sagittarius. The card will benefit them. What do they need to hear right now? Show us the cards, please. What message does Sagittarius need to hear? What card will benefit them? Okay, cut once more. Show us the card, please. Show us the card. There it is. Okay, 13 in reverse, financial constraints. So with the energy oracle cards, I believe the message is in the deck, or excuse me, in the book. That's how I think it's meant to be heard. So let's see what the message is for you. 
Okay, this card reversed pretends, pro, excuse me, portends an increase in money is about to come your way. The previous constrictions have broken open and there's a greater flow of money of other things. As more funds come in, you'll find you have the freedom to take more risks and spend without the previous extreme precautions. The river of abundance is starting to flow your way, so don't be too cavalier. Always bring your consciousness to this and every aspect of your life. So it looks like your soul's path is coming to um, coming to fruition here and you're getting where you need to go, Sadies. That's great. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right, so I made some cards. So let's see what advice they have for Sagittarius. What will benefit Sagittarius, please? What message do you have for them? Guided to this video. Show me the card, please. What card do we have? There it is. It flipped. Oh, there's two here, Sagis. Oh, we have a no. That's interesting. Somehow that meant to come out for you. So if you have a you have a no question or something you're thinking in your head, I'll still get a question at the end, but that came out. So that's really interesting. So that's like a firm no, whatever you were thinking. <laughs> uh, and look at this. You will get everything you wished for. And we see that here because you're manifesting and you're take you're, you know, you're taking the high road, Sagi. Okay, so let's get your yes or no question. I'm curious to see if it'll be a no or if it'll be an answer for someone else. Or if you have a different question, ask it. But if you were thinking something at that moment, that was for you, baby. That was for you. All right, so let, let's get... I'm not taking that, sorry. Okay, so yes or no. What is the answer for Sagittarius? Yes or no. The answer is... <laughs> I saw it. Yes. Okay, Saggy. So that's what I have for you. I really hope it resonated and helped you along your journey. Good luck. Until next time.